can just dance to this Don't take much to stop me We can just dance to this Push up on my body You know we already seen all of the parties We can just dance to this What's up y'all? It's your girl Bethany Camille and I'm back with another video a whole month later, I know. Um, anyways, so I wanted to show you guys a little tutorial on how I achieve some barrel curls with my curl formers, okay? Now I got these bad boys a couple years ago, I want to say like three years ago. They were like $70 at the time so they're pretty expensive but we gonna find out if it's worth the price, okay? So as you can see, they come in different colors and they're also in different sizes. So these two are in the smaller size. I'll like put the information in the video here. Um, and then I also have some chunkier ones. So these ones are a lot shorter than the others. Yeah, but they do give you a bigger curl. So then it come with this little like hook thing and yeah, it's a little scary, I know, but you're gonna use the hook to pull the curl formers through, like to pull your hair through the curl formers. So what I'm doing is I'm inserting the hook into one of the curl formers just to let you guys see how it works. Um, it's not that difficult, you know? You just, it just fits like a little sleeve. And then I'm showing you how I do it with the other one. As you can see, it fits a little bit shorter. So, I have in my hair the Trader Joe's Nourish Spa Conditioner. As y'all know, I love this stuff. It's only like $2.99, and you know, I love my cheap products. Um, and then I have some Lotta Body setting, setting Lotion, and then I have a rat tail comb. And so I took some water and I poured the Lotta Body Lotion into it to dilute it. Um, and it gives you the instructions on how much you're supposed to put in there. So yeah. So as you can see, I'm taking down my hair and it's all nice and soft from the Trader Joe's Nurse Spa Conditioner. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part my hair into small sections. Now, this is very, very key, okay. I, you're gonna see that I kind of failed in the first attempt um because my section was a little bit too big so that's what you don't want to do but anyways um i used my little rat tail comb and i combed through my section to make sure that i didn't have any kind of tangles and then i'm spraying my hair with a lot of body and water mixture i'm making sure that my hair is completely saturated and as you can see it leaves my curls nice and popping um but yeah nice and popping so then I go ahead and use the yellow one now it's important to note that they kind of curl in two different ways so like the pink one goes a different way than the other but anyways I'm using my fingers to twist the root of my hair so that I can stick the hook around it so I, as you can see I kind of zoomed in I'm sticking the hook around my hair making sure that there's no loose hairs all of my hair is around the hook and then I'm just going to pull the little stick thing out from the bottom. And yeah, as you can see, I failed because my section was way too big. Um, yeah, we're going to fix this. <laughs> so I ended up spraying my hair again. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. <coughs> I ended up spraying my hair and twisting, uh, blah, twisting it again so that I could be a little bit um, smaller I use a smaller section and a bigger curl former then I pulled it through again and it worked this time so yeah pretty simple and you guys legit like it's just so simple like it's really not that difficult at first it may be because um, you know you just kind of have to practice a little bit but if you use a small section it should be easy for you so just make sure that there's no knots you spray it a little bit and then I work it in and then I go ahead and twist the section and then I take a curl former and I use a different shape because I just wanted my hair to have different shapes and then I pull it through so yeah it's super easy you guys you just have to make sure that all of your hair is inside the hook that's all like make sure that all of your hair is inside the hook and then 
you just pull the stick out from the back and then that's it. It just all the hair feeds through the curl former. So definitely take your time with this because it can be frustrating in the beginning, but you'll eventually get it. So I go ahead and do that with the rest of my hair and I kind of just sped through it because, you know, I don't want to make this video super long like most of my other videos so yeah and luckily my hair was soft from the conditioner so it wasn't all stiff and sometimes the setting lotion can make your hair stiff this is the next day y'all now these things were so freaking uncomfortable to sleep in but I made it work it was just very very uncomfortable if you really don't want to sleep in them then you might want to use like a hair dryer so anyways to take them out I just kind of pull on them and then they just slide on out but you want to elongate the curl former before you just pull it out so I'm elongating it slowly and I'm just pulling it out and as you can see I got some nice juicy uh, barrel curls coming through for your girl so yeah just gonna go ahead and speed through this now I noticed that even though the hair was defined like the curls were nice and I don't know how to explain it the curls were nice and defined I guess um, the texture of my hair kind of had the stickiness to it and I think it's from the lot of body so you might want to use a different setting lotion I don't know how I really feel about lot of body um, just use another setting lotion that's not going to be as sticky or leave like a residue, like a sticky residue. Or maybe even try it with just water and conditioner, see what happens. Or you can use a gel. Um, I know sometimes gels leave like flakes, but this is a style that you kind of want to experiment with to see what works best for you. The next time I try this, I think I'm going to try like a different product because I just didn't like the sticky residue. and. My hair was like, I don't know, it was just weird. But the results came out cute. Um, I love my curls, they're so freaking juicy and shiny and they look like <laughs> I'm from the early 1900s or something, like I belong in a Shirley Temple movie. Um, anyway, so I started trying to unravel them and this is where I got so confused. Like, I don't know how people unravel their barrel curls so easily because I was so confused with like which direction to unravel so I feel like I kind of messed it up there but I'm trying y'all I'm trying but I'm loving the shine that I'm getting from my hair and it was fairly straight like the texture had smoothed out I didn't have no like kinks So then I'm just massaging my scalp. I put some oil on my hand and I'm just kind of massaging my scalp and trying to get those parts out of my hair. I think I it would be best if I just used a pick, but I don't know where my pick was at the time. So I'm just kind of working the oil through my hair. And then I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna style it because you know, I got those parts in my hair and I'm not just about to walk around looking like a hot mess. Um, <laughs> so I start kind of playing with it a little bit and trying to style it some way because it's like it's cute, but I don't know. I don't know if it's cute enough to wear outside. You know, like there's cute for like video and then there's cute for like outdoors. And I don't know if it's quite cute for outdoors. I try to pull my hair up in a ponytail, but I was like, hmm. I don't know I don't know if this is all gonna work so then I just thought okay I'm just gonna leave my bangs out and then I pull my hair up and yeah so as you can see I look like one of those poodle like those 1950s girls with the poodle skirts but yeah so pretty cute you know it's a cute little style I think you got to play with it a little bit but overall I'm pretty satisfied with my results it's pretty much what I expected and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my Instagram. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!